Hello and welcome to the free Oscar training video series by oscarhost.ca. My name is Jordan Visco and in this quick video I'm going to cover eDocs and eForms within the Oscar EMR. So uh, the first thing is uh, eDocuments uh, are actually static documents that you want to add to your EMR. Uh, there are things like uh, scanned in files like uh, maybe old patient records or patient handouts, typed out letters, things like that. Um, the first way to add them is to go to the eDoc section here. These are uh, your general eDocuments that aren't associated with any particular patient's record. Um, you can add a document, you can add a link, you can add uh, HTML here and they'll all show up either under your private documents or under your public documents. Public documents are viewable by anybody who has access to your EMR. So add, uh, add the right documents to the right place accordingly. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and add a document. Say we're going to add a handout. Uh, we're going to call it handout A. Uh, this checkbox here makes it a public document. And then we're going to browse and we're going to look where I've saved it on my computer. And we're going to add this PDF file as a public document. And click add. So you can see it uh, adds right there. I can delete it if I want uh, or edit that particular document and uh, change the name of it uh, or upload a new file. So um, I can also add another document. We're going to add another handout. We're going to call it A2. And I'm going to upload a .doc file and click Add as a private document. So now I have uh, two documents in the system. Uh, one's a PDF file and one is a MS Word document. When I click on the PDF file it opens in my browser and uh, when I click on the MS Word document it attempts to download it uh, because it doesn't know how to render this particular file type. So you can add whatever types of documents you want uh, and it will either download or render them depending on um, what it can what it can handle. So you can add as much as you want here. Um, under the public documents it might be a good idea to add things like uh, contact lists or um, general forms uh, or general patient handouts that, uh, that you like to give to people. So the other place to add uh, documents is into a directly into a patient's record. So uh, if you click on the E here on the uh, patient uh, the uh, patient's appointment, it opens up the encounter screen. Um, if you go to documents, you can add documents just like uh, on the last screen that we were at. And uh, add documents, links, HTML, just the same way. The only difference is, is these are Donald, Donald Duck or this particular patient's private documents. So they're only viewable in this record, um, not to anybody else in the EMR. All right, let's close that. So the next thing is eForms. Uh, forms are a little different than documents in that you can add information to them and save them to uh, particular patient profiles. So we're again going to go to the encounter screen for this patient and we're going to click on eForms and uh, you can see the eForms we have available in our system right now. I can choose an eForm and it uh, builds the eForm into a web page here. Um, I can fill it out however I'd like check the check boxes that are appropriate and um, then click submit on the bottom. Alright, then when I go to current eForms you can see that this particular eForm was added to this patient's profile on this date and if I want to I can delete it there. If I go back to the encounter screen and reload it, the eForm now shows up. Uh, and I can add as many of these types of eForms as I want. So before uh, you'll be able to add any eForms uh, to any particular patient's profile, you're going to actually need to um, add some eForms to your EMR. And you can do that from this Manage eForms link here, or you can do that in the Admin section under Upload a Form. So we're going to do that now. There's three different ways you can uh, upload eForms uh, to the system. The first one is uh, by downloading them, which is the easiest way. Then is uploading them um, if you've downloaded them from 
uh, say the oscarcanada.org website. And the third is you can generate your own with the eForm generator. And uh, I'll show how to do that in another video. So in order to do the easiest one here, downloading eForms, you click on the download eForms link. It comes up with a list of different forms that you can add directly into your EMR. It's pretty simple. You just click on load eForm and uh, it does it automatically. So take a quick look through here and see if the eForm that you want to add is has already been added. So the next way is to upload an eForm. Um, and in order to upload it, you must first have downloaded it from a website. So there's a lot of eForms available on oscarcanada.org. Just go to the Oscar Users section, then to EMR and Case Management Resources, then to eForms. Under eForms for download, um, there's hundreds and hundreds of different uh, eForms. Um, and I'm just going to show you one example here. Um, this is an HTMI HTML file for a LifeLab requisition. It says it's matched with this particular image file, uh, which is the, the link below it here. So in order to upload an eForm to um, our EMR, we're going to need both the HTML file and the, the PNG. So now we'll go back to the upload eForm section here. I'm going to browse on my computer for where I've saved the HTML file from the Oscar Canada website, which I saved it here. And I'm going to open that. And I'm going to give it a form name, Life Lab Requisition, and click Upload. And uh, you can see the form now shows here. Now, if I click on it, oh, sorry. Uh, life lab requisition. Um, you can see the HTML of the form will show here all the input fields, but there's no PNG image behind it. So I need to upload the appropriate uh, image to the Oscar EMR now. And we do that in upload an image. So now I'm going to browse and I'm going to upload the lifelabrec.png image that I saved from the Oscar Canada website. It's important that you make sure the file name is correct here, otherwise it won't associate properly with the um, uh, the right HTML file. So we're going to open that and click upload. And if I search for it, you can see that it shows right there. I could delete it if I want to, but at this point I'm just going to go back to upload a form and I'm going to click again on life lab requisition and voila, the image shows behind. And I can uh, go to a patient's profile, check whatever I'd like, and uh, click save at the bottom of the page or submit. So there you go. Um, thanks for watching this quick tutorial. I hope it was helpful for you. Uh, if you have any uh, other questions or need any more information, you can go to the oscarcanada.org website. Uh, there's a lot of great information there. Or you can contact us through our website at oscarhost.ca.